Hey! So, uh, I've built this. This is a power bank of 55,000 milliamps power bank that can power your laptop. So lately we had some power outages here and I wanted to buy a power bank for my laptop. But uh, everything I found on the internet was either USB Type-C and my laptop is too old for USB Type-C. It's a old Lenovo one. Or it was the, the other option to buy a power bank that has AC included, like these options and this one. But once I looked at the price, I was like, uh-uh, I want to build my own. So this is what I did. And this is not only for your laptop, but you can also power on all the USB devices. And you have a 12 volt socket here that you can connect one of these for more USB devices or one of these which is a DC to AC converter and now you can power your AC home appliances or as long as they are less than 300 watts so for example you can power on your TV on batteries you have AC power as you can see I have a velcro strap here and I can strap the DC to AC converter and this one becomes one unit now if you plug it in of course or you can put it like this and it's even more compact and guess what it works so here are the features you have the voltage meter here on a momentary switch so this way it's not always on it shows the voltage of each individual cell and also the total voltage it's nicely balanced this is the on and off switch with an LED so you'll know when it's on and this is the DC out for the laptop so here is where you plug in your laptop and this is the 12.6 volt port to charge the battery bank and here's the 12 volt lighter socket and the USB one. And how is this for recycling? This is made using 1860 cells from old laptop batteries, which you can buy very cheap from eBay. That's recycling. After you remove the batteries from the old laptop, you need to balance the individual cells. As you can see, I'm using a balanced charger to charge 16 cells at the same time. They are linked in parallel, so the charger sees them as one big cell. this old mains cable to link all the cells together. I'm building here what is called the uh, 3S8P power bank.
Now the cells are connected and we are left with these wire terminations. This will be used with this BMS circuit which I bought from eBay. This will take care of the protection and balancing of the cells. Basically this is one big continuous battery which goes like this from the plus to the minus. Also the BMS has marked on each corner the voltages corresponding with the wires I have left hanging. These are the nominal values from 11.1 .1 to 0. In order to charge and discharge this battery, I will use this XT60 connector with these two thick wires. Normally this power bank is finished, but I want to add an extra feature. I have this um, JST balancing connector and this alarm. This will allow me to monitor the voltage of each cell as well as the total power bank voltage. So let's hack it! As you can see it's not very well balanced but the beauty of this system is that I can balance the cells now with my LiPo charger when the battery is not in the case. I've called my friend Hot Glue to help me keep the wires in place. This is how the circuit will look. Firstly we need a female XT60 to connect to the battery. Then a switch. This one has an LED as well, this gold contact, uh, which has to be connected to a negative. After the switch we have a, the DC to DC converter. This basically takes the voltage from the battery and boosts it to the voltage necessary to power on the laptop. You can set the appropriate voltage for your laptop with this blue potentiometer for minus 20 volts. And then we need a DC jack for the laptop cable. We also need a DC jack to charge the battery. And we will mount this between the XT60 female plug and the switch right here. Now, for the voltmeter part, we need another JST3S extension cable. And since I don't want the screen of the alarm to be on all the time, we will mount this momentary switch on the negative wire of the extension. And this is the alarm, which we've hacked before. The extension cable will be permanently plugged in like this. I will also add this 12 volt lighter socket and two USB ports, which I've already wired in parallel. They will be mounted after the switch, but before the boost converter. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is a plastic project case I already had from a previous project. I want to recycle it and use the same holes, which will make my life difficult. Oh look, it fits. So you can normally use your laptop charger, then if the power goes down, you just unplug the jack from here and plug it directly into the battery and Bob's your uncle. So now that it's finished, let's see if it's working. So now the laptop is charging from the wall with the power brick, as you can see right here. So now I will unplug the laptop from the wall by simply doing this. As you can see it's on battery now. And if I plug it into the DC jack. And flip the switch, it should start charging. And it does. And while charging your laptop, you can also charge via USB. Now let's see if the USB charging is working. Oh, it does. So, imagine having this in your car, in a holiday, somewhere, when you go camping. You don't have electricity. This will provide at least one and a half days of power. Or, or imagine if you go in some of the villages with no power, you can have power. Uh, connect a movie projector to this, the ones that use USB, and have it powered on for ages until the movie ends. And 